Um, let's just get right into it. Make sure to talk loud. <laughs> what? Wait, can you see Cece? Yeah. Okay, perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. Let's start. Okay. <laughs> right, let's start before she moves. <laughs> You're such a weirdo back there. Okay. It's 2020. It's time to get organized. So we are going to take you on a tour through all of our cabinets and all of our drawers and the bedrooms and the bathrooms and the kitchen. And we're going to show you how we keep everything organized. Um, it's a very unstyled tour. Like we're just going for it. Yeah. We'll give you some tips along the way and hope it helps. So let's start in the kitchen. Fun fact. Cece hasn't moved. She's been standing in the exact same place for about five minutes. All right, so I want to start with something that we implemented when we did our kitchen renovation, and that is the tip out in the sink. And this is actually just something that you can buy off the shelf and you can get little um, hinges. So over here, inside of our kitchen cabinets, these are the most used items in our home all of our dishes and the glasses that we use every day. So these are in the main area of the kitchen. And over here is where we keep some of Lucy's plates and then our mixing bowls. We even have empty spaces because I love an empty shelf. Crucial. Down below, this is something that I wanna point out. Even though we had this shelf custom built when we renovated our kitchen, you can actually buy pullouts from the store and I can link that for you below. But having a pullout ensures that nothing gets lost all the way in the back of the cabinet. Excuse me. Watch out, Cece. Excuse me. Come here, mama. <laughs> Inside our utensil drawer, it's a little bit of a mishmash of, you know, plastic, antique. This pretty much always looks like this. Now let's go over here. This is one of my favorite parts of the kitchen. We essentially use this as our pantry. Um, again, not styled in any way, but just the stuff that we use every day. We haven't been to the grocery in a while. Let's talk about the island. This is an old dresser that we converted. We put it on casters so we can move it around if we need to and we just painted it. So really quickly, just go through these drawers. Top one, we have cleaning supplies. Everything is contained within baskets. On this side is where we keep all of our linens and some disposables. We keep Tupperware down here. This is actually stuff for the dogs and it is a little bit of a mess, I'm sure. Jack and Cece's medicine. <laughs> and it's their they're, medicine cabinet. They're old, they have their own medicine cabinet. So over here, this is all the stuff from when I was nursing. I can't part with it just yet, but for now, <laughs> Lucy likes playing with the bottles. And then down here, whoa. whoa, down here is where we keep all of the dishes that we use when we're having a party or we're hosting or we just need you know, to make like a big salad or a spread. That's where we keep all the pretty stuff. So that's the kitchen. And that's the CC. <laughs> oh, my babe. Moving into the first floor bathroom. This is a small room. We just finished it earlier this year, but there are a few little secrets we have hidden in here. This was a vanity that we bought just off the shelf from Lowe's, and we added this pullout Shelf, Cece. <laughs> Come here, Mama. Come here, Cece. We added this pull out just as a way, again, so things don't get hidden in the back and you can reach everything pretty easily. And I, we custom built that one to fit perfectly. Yeah, you, it's just. Um, again, you can buy those off the shelf, but also, oh my gosh, it's a dog swarm. <laughs> Hi, family. Um, you can buy them off the shelf. We bit that one, built that one custom to fit the dimensions of yeah, the cabinet. Yeah, if you want to take a closer look, watch out, bud. If you want to take a closer look, this is just um, MDF, and we cut the little handle out right here, and you can see that we just use a couple of bins. It's really nice. I know this seems pretty insignificant, but just having baskets to corral things, it almost forces you to keep things nice and tidy. 
In fact, it does force you to keep things nice and tidy. All right, so that's this bathroom. Let's, um, let's go up to our master bathroom where we have a few other tricks I'll show you. Cece, what you doing? There she is. The Ooh. towel just fell. <laughs> What's going on in here? Master bathroom. Up here, we started from scratch. We have drawers in our master bath, and the reason we went with drawers is because we love that you can see everything front to back. In these IKEA cabinets, there's little dividers that we're utilizing here for some of our linens. And then over here, this is just like the drawer that has all the things that we always need hair stuff, face stuff, and medicines, things like that. But one thing I will say is that it's really nice to have everything in a small tray. Even if it's just really small, it helps to contain all the things that really get lost and can clutter up a drawer very quickly. Down here, we even had a electrical outlet installed and so it's really helpful to have these things stowed away. A lot of you ask, where are our toothbrushes? We keep them inside a drawer. And we can plug in the electric toothbrush and the shaver and that sort of stuff. Yeah, so it's really nice to have that hidden away. No one needs to see it and it keeps the countertops clear as well. All the time. All the time. No clutter. And then behind Scott is this tall skinny cabinet that we installed during the renovation, we like to squeeze every last inch out of a space. So in here, this is an Ikea hack. We sort of... Um, we just trimmed everything we down. We trimmed everything down just so it could hold things like our extra towels and paper towels and toilet paper. And then all of first the like, aid tubs. first aid and deep storage we actually have in these clear bins. So that way we can see what's inside of them and we can grab them very easily. Okay, Scott, do you want to do the office? Yep. Okay. Over in the office, we each have a little rolling filing cabinet where we just keep our like desky supplies, tape, staples, all that kind of stuff. And then some files down below, the handful of paper files that we do need to maintain. Around the corner here, one of our favorite things, a trick that we learned from our friend Ashley at the Gold Hive. We wrote a whole post about this, but this is a travel cable organizer that we screwed into the bottom of the desk and then it's right next to the power strip so excess cords, things like that can all be wound up and kept out of the way. Yeah, I'll link that in this post. Yep. And then over here in our credenza that was an entertainment center that we repurposed, um, we have our printer hidden away here. Extra a little ink. Extra ink, extra paper, um, all of our paint decks are in here and then little filing shelves for invoices, receipts and just like random info. And then over here, this is where we keep our backpacks, our laptop bags, headphones, things like that. Another empty shelf. More empty shelves. Love it. Over here we have two sleepy dogs. In the Fodenza here, we have some empty bins that are for Lucy stuff. We don't put latches on any of the cabinets that Lucy is allowed in. So this one's full of toys. We keep everything not only in the cabinet, but in a bin inside so she can take it in and out and it makes really, really uh, makes for easy cleanup there. This bin here has a latch on it because Lucy is not allowed in there and she knows it. This is for some vintage fabric, textiles, um, and craft supplies for Lucy for when she's a little older. How does... <laughs> uh, I'm like, take a knee, take a knee team. How does... Clear gonna, eyes. Coach is gonna fire you up. Clear eyes, full hearts. Can't lose. Okay. okay, why are we in the living room? Uh, because we organized some of Lucy's toys inside here. She's got this little flexible basket full of stuffies and things like that. Um, again, no latch here, so she knows she's allowed to play in there. This top one is full of like remotes and gadgets. We have all these remotes, but we only need one. And um, down here is just like an electric heating pad. And down here, this one's fun. Uh, board games, things of that nature. All of those latches have latches. On all those. Yeah. And then over here, latch on this one too, because this is our electronics, little baby Nintendo, and things that Lucy shouldn't be fussing with. So we keep that latched up. Over here, our coffee table, which when we purchased it, we blindly thought we'd be able to like, oh, let's put our remotes in there. But no, of course, we have a toddler. So she figured out how to open it really quickly. Now it's books and toys for Lucy. She took over the whole thing. I feel like this would be really good one day to even have like 
Legos or magnet tiles or something. Yeah. Just something keep like everything that. in here so she can. Just keeping it all contained and hidden. That's the key. And then, last but not least, with Lucy's stuff, this basket here is just a random assortment of toys that all the kids know uh, exists here. So when the neighbor kids come over and our friends' kids, they go right for this basket, dump it on the floor, and go to work. <laughs> Are you filming? Yeah. <laughs> so this is my closet. Um, I did not tidy it up, but it's pretty organized. So something that Hang on, did... hang on one sec. Look at those sleepy puppies over there. Just being sleepy. <laughs> okay, back to business. Something that I did in my closet is I chose to have my bar up a little higher and have all drawers, deep wide drawers down here. So I totally... Marie Kondo the crap out of this. Um, and I started folding my stuff this way about a year ago, thinking like, will I stick with it? And the answer is 100% because it makes everything so easy to find. I can see everything all at once and I can just pull out whatever I need. It's actually pretty amazing. I will share the post where I talk about that. And down here I have all of my pants and jeans. Uh, shoes are down here. This is none of your business drawer. Unmentionable. <laughs> <laughs> and something that I think is important to know when you're thinking about organizing a closet is working with every single inch that you have. So all the way up there we just store our luggage and even if you don't have a built-in like this you can easily add shelves um, fill up every nook and cranny and really make it work for you. One last thing to mention in here is I keep a bag in my closet and it's already full of stuff, but if I pull something out of my closet and I put it on and I immediately take it off because it makes me feel um, not good, I will consider if I even want to put it back on a hanger and if I don't, I will throw it in the bag to donate. And that makes things a lot easier instead of having to do like the yearly big purge. Um, I just very slowly do it over time as things no longer suit my taste. That's my secret. What else? I think we covered a lot. I think we covered more than we were planning to. Here, turn that puppy around and get in this video. Ooh. Smooth transition <laughs> for the win. I hope that this was helpful and that you got some tips and we love to hear anything that you do to keep things organized in your home. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy organizing! <laughs>